You seem like you're dying. I, <laughs> why did my voice decide to do this now? It's water. You know how many times this happened to me? Uh, the fact that you came for four days and that like you want to puke and that you're partying until 4 a.m. I'm going to keep this. Do you want to throw up? Okay, so let's so, tell me. What do you think? Like, you know, obviously you're always getting asked, oh, how is it like to be a woman in the construction field? Why? Why are you always getting asked that? What people ask me a lot is that, like, is it harder to be a woman in the Middle East in the construction field? And very surprisingly, I always say people know it's so much easier. And I think people were asking me a lot because obviously when I started in Saudi, there was not a lot of women. I mean, first of all, there was not a lot of foreign women architects that we moved to Saudi. And then the whole site construction issue is literally just men. It's, it's so easier. interesting that you think that it's easier. Yeah, I actually think... Everyone is just arguing. No, I actually think it opened a lot of doors for me. I mean, keep in mind, I was like, I started, I was like 23, fresh off the boat. I was like looking very young and pretty. I mean, this has changed since, but anyway, so um, yeah, surprisingly, it's opened a lot of doors because I mean, there was no competition. If I had started in Paris, in New York, anywhere else, I mean, and I think one of the main topics still today, but like 10, 15 years ago, is like uh, gender equality, right? It's like women have to be exactly the same than men and then I landed in a region where guess what gender equality was very very far from being achieved zero gender equality so me starting in construction and like meeting suppliers contractors the respect I got from people was unbelievable imagine I would arrive on site I mean nobody would ever disrespect me you know when you know a bit of psychology I've always played with it like I've never like really so you're manipulative? No, I'm not manipulative, but like, it's just, you need to know how uh, psychology works. I realized very quickly that being a woman really opened doors for me in the Middle East, as in, you know, I actually was coming, like, I was the alien, you know, and like when you're the alien and when you're like out of the box and like the one out of 10, of course, naturally, like, somebody would remember me more than the let's say the 10 other guys that somebody would would want to hire you're talking like a lot of my clients are middle eastern men from a certain age honestly in the beginning if i had the balls to say you know where is our money pay us very rarely a middle eastern man of a certain age he would be so embarrassed you know to say like oh i'm not paying you it's completely different when you're a man actually in the field so it's just the relation is completely, um, there's a very different balance. Mm. So in that sense, no, it always, uh, it always helped me actually. It's good to be a woman. It's good to be a woman in the Middle East.